a really smart person talk about really smart things and I'm checking the comments and I made my own silly smart ass comment everybody else is too <laughs> and uh, oh she's it's basically Einstein never said that <laughs> and we're like quoting other things Einstein never said <laughs> Or, or Mark Twain never said about Einstein. Um, <laughs> and as I was reading the comments, of course, the peripheral of my eye caught yet another what looked very much like an actual anti-Semitic conspiracy theory. You know, because... How tired and old is the Zionist Marxist conspiracy, um, whatever thingy. <laughs> it's just a, such a meme. But my thought just suddenly hit me. You know, maybe the reason we haven't heard the actual anti-Semitic tropes about oh it's the jewish controlling the world here we go this is proof of the judaic communist manifesto blah 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 or whatever how they call it and it hasn't they haven't been going mental about it and my thought was you know what maybe they're just actually so utterly cowardly that they're going to wait until finally the tables are turning, they think, against Israel once, once they lose their, they admit they can't win their war objectives, and then they'll pounce. That's my thought. And then it'll go crazy. And the corollary, corollary to that is these people might actually be Christian Zionists in the true sense that they're outraged that the second coming of Christ when everybody ascends to heaven after the Armageddon right happen is it happening and they're just maybe these cowardly freaks who are ultra um, Zionist, you know, who are totally anti-Semitic, who want all the Jews to F off to Israel, you know, and die, basically, to make the second coming happening, the second coming happening, happen. Blow them a little bit, flip up. <laughs> I know, right? Um, and it's just, it's so interesting because... the the people who were critical of Israel are brave enough to stand up and take the hits saying what needs to be said about the horrible genocide that's going on and the awful, awful obviousness of everything and the the truly I mean Donald Trump ain't dead yet but he'd be spinning in his grave um <laughs> at the thought of his ideas finally being taken seriously mainstream that yeah America is a failed state that it is a broken empire that that needs to F off out of people's business right and it's just everything about it is just you know and, and people are taking the hits and, and trying to speak truth to power when they're not in power and these cowardly little shitheads are just they are so steeped in the mythology of their own ultra christian orthodoxy that they truly believe that if israel just does a little bit more that they'll be damned and the second coming won't happen and they'll everybody that is you know white and male and and 
bigoted will go to heaven and everybody else will go to hell, right? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, so that was my thought. It was interesting because at first it was like, that must be really cowardly to wait till absolutely the tables have turned and then you start going off mentally. Um, you go mental, oh my God. They're mentally, do um, <laughs> Yeah, let's do a smart person. For, um, but yeah, and then it turned into, oh, maybe they're just hoping that the miracle of the second, the return or whatever, you know, their little Armageddon happens. And uh, yeah, it was interesting. I mean, the segue was, you know, first I thought that, then it was like, oh, wait a minute. Maybe they're also hoping, maybe the same people who are totally anti-Semitic or totally ultra uh, Christian Zionist at, at heart, not just, oh, it's a weird juxtaposition of the anti-Semites and the um, Christian Zionists kind of like it almost seemed contradictory but what you know I mean at the same time cognitive dissonance cognitive dissonance is conscience absolutely like think about it cognitive dissonance if you look up the actual definition it's absolutely a euphemism for conscience yeah I mean these people are absolute liars they live and breathe utter lies so, you know, you've seen liars. They, they can hold multiple lies at once, easily, and juggle it. So why not this, this, whole, this whole world of aligning yourself with your enemy because, you know, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, but what if they're just one and the same? What if these freaks who were Nazis and... Um, you know, hating on Jews and everybody else. What if they're one and the same with the Christian Zionists? What if ultra-religious people are the most bigoted people? Which is just such a bizarre way of thinking when, you know, the tenets of the originators are supposed to, you know, the sermons on the mount and, and, and the apparently even the jews aren't uh, uh, don't worship a hateful god right um i like the abraham i write the all oh, the whole sermon on the mount shit you know all the religions have the same thing right so why the hell are the ultra religious just not even paying attention to stuff like that and it's like well could could the people who are so weak-minded that they will fall for the neo-Nazi stuff, maybe that's the same kind of cult, cult mindset that attracts them to the, the ultra-right um, religious stuff. And what if their mindset doesn't is such that they don't need to join, they don't need to be uh, practicing religious, they've just got the same mindset as these people. And so there's no contradiction, there's no reconciliation needed, there's no, you know, antimatter matter kind of, uh-oh, something's going to blow up when these people finally get what they want, and then they realize they're, they're ersatz allies are their worst enemies no they're one and the same um and that's that's the weird thing isn't it to realize that i mean it just seems so contradictory that that you've got the ultra zionist religious evangelicals and i don't want to bash the evangelicals because back in the 80s they were risking their lives living with uh um south american um sorry central american uh villagers to keep them alive against the contras and and the, all the horrible stuff the u.s was doing to to 
to own their side of the world, right? Um, or the entire world, right? But it's just so amazing that 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 kind of evangelical, currently evangelical, just madness is is not contradictory to the aims of the bigots, the neo-Nazis. You know, I mean, the anti-Semitics, right? Because if you want to kill all Jews and they want to get rid of all the Jews to Israel, you think that would be their only similar, the only similarity those two had because why would a neo-Nazi have anything to do with a religion? But what if that's not true at all? What if their neo-Nazi ideology is, is exactly like that of a cult of evangelicals? And the next time I see an evangelical pastor I'll just think I wonder if he, I just imagine Nazi swastikas beside him as he speaks and imagine Hitler rambling incoherently just like Trump you know it's so bizarre 100 years ago almost exactly that that you know the beer hall pushed and Hitler used to ramble for hours in front of drunk crowds and it's just this is exactly I mean freaking Trump's favorite book Melania or whoever one of the wives said he sleeps with that book at his like at the Bible in his next was in his in his side table right so you know I mean, this guy is hoping to get some kind of jail time or pretend to have jail time in order to do the whole, you know, the route Hitler took in to get to power. So yeah, it's, uh, yeah, next time I see a pastor, I'll be like, could I pretend he's a neo-Nazi speaker? Like a, a, a merchant, uh, a, a outrage, an outrage merchant like Ben Shapiro, um, who's a practicing Jew. Yeah, well, practicing Zionist, that's for sure. Um, and, you know, Jordan Peterson and all that stuff. The neo Nazi uh, pa pandering to the neo Nazis, right? And what if I could go, is that pastor attempting to sell outrage to his audience in a way that Ben Shapiro and, and, and Jordan Peterson and all the rest of them and Rush Limbaugh do? And, you know, just the same kind of, the same kind of narrative track oh, that would be interesting yeah the next time that happens i'll be instead of just oh wackoid religious person i'll be like how closely does he resemble the rambling of ben shapiro and jordan peterson you know the whole biological psychology kind of stuff and it's like how similar are their mindsets instead of thinking oh these people are completely polar opposite and are just a marriage of convenience right At, about the Israeli situation and so fascinating yeah yeah little rabbit hole I went down but anyways um, I'll get back to listening to a very smart person